Dear people of Japan, all my thoughts and all my feelings are with you. It's particularly difficult to go to a daily shadow while watching and following the disaster happen to you. Nipponji wa sokai, watashi no kangai to kuyokan wa anatatachi to tumoni arimasu. Day 4. Today, Ben goes first to a young Baptist faith community. Baptists are also a part of the Evangelic Confession group. They only get baptized as adults. Baptists say that children aren't mature enough to decide on their faith. The creed of the Baptist is Jesus Christ. They believe that Jesus died individually for every one of them. These young people were telling Ben how fast the religion has changed them, their surroundings and the manner how they act now with other people since they joined this Baptist group. Ben assists to one of their masses. These young people seem strongly penetrated by their faith. This impressed Ben very much, but at the same time also irritated him. Ben would know and understand where from these young people takes their God contemplation. Do they never have doubts in their God? The answer was, even if you are some days angry with God, so you dispute with God, but you always stand with him and never leave him that for. All the evil in the world would be worse without God. When they say babies dying from hunger, they praise God that not everybody dies from hunger. They firmly believe that without God, everything would be worse. Even for Ben, this was far too cynical. Not everyone is such profoundly convinced as those Baptists are. They are also in the religion some people who went through a faith crisis. Doubt and faith crisis, that's an interesting view to analyze. What happens if the doubts gain the upper hand? Ben knew that after his divorce, the village pastor Ralph passed a very long time in a psychiatric clinic before he was able again to serve his parish. Ben and Pastor Ralph met in a small cafe because Ben asked him to tell him something about the obvious faith crisis which Pastor Ralph went through. After three years in his parish, Ralph's marriage got divorced. He had big problems in his parish. Everything went so far that he even thought to kill himself. His prayers to God became more and more yelling, God, where are you? Everything became only darker and darker. The only prayer he could say was the words of Jesus on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So Christians and other religious people are neither immune against life crises, but is such a life and faith crisis even gives rise to suicidal thoughts? Isn't it better for Ben's children only to trust themselves? To know more about face crises, Ben spoke to Frank. Frank lived for eight years as a monk in a Trappist Coventry. This is a Catholic order which is well known for his rigorous rules and for the O of Silence. Frank left the monastery after a deep faith crisis, but now he fell back to God but goes his very special, personal, spiritual way. He lives now in a brother communion, which through prayer, social work 
and meditation searches God. Ben asks Frank if with God he has everything better under control than without God. Frank said death is an illusion, like a manager who thinks having everything under control until he has a heart attack and learns that he finally had nothing under control. To know that you have nothing under control opens you a spiritual, religious way. For Frank, it's a quality to say, I have nothing under control. How could he doubt? Doubt is related to a defined conception. It's intellectually absurd to make an image of God. People which are doubting are people which have an image of God before their eyes. Frank means you stop doubting when you stop having a God's image. Ben was not very sure if he understood everything. And he repeated for himself. God may not be seen as a person. God has created the world, but we are not allowed to make him responsible for our behavior. If we are doing good or bad, it's alone and only in our hand. An interesting question came up to Ben. Is it only possible to reach God through religion? Brother Frank gave Ben an absolute new idea. Meditation as way to experience God, absolute independent from religion and confession. More of this at day five. Subscribe here, rate here, leave your comment.